Hey, Shalom. First and foremost, I like to give all praises to Yahweh, Bahasham Yahushai, Bahasham Raka Hakodash, and double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone that rule well. Peace and blessings to the elect. All right, and this here is Amma One from the Great Millstone Camp in Trinidad, and this scripture here. Revelation 22 Right Revelation 22 Verse 7 and verse 12 It says Behold I come quickly Blessed is he that keepeth the sayings of the prophecy of this book And verse 12 it says And behold I come quickly, and my reward is with me to give every man according as his work shall be. All right, but the key point is, <clears throat> yeah, how shall I say what he is coming quickly? Okay, he say, I come quickly, and um, this is why we seeing all the things happening on the face of the earth here right now. The Lord, Yahweh Bahasham Yahushai, is bringing judgment on the face of the earth. And that is a thing, that is a thing, you know, hearing people talking about that at all, eh? Everybody talking about Esau, Esau bring out this and he do that. What he's saying is the Father, you know? This is the Father, alright? Not Jesus Christ, not Allah, not Buddha, but Yahweh Bahasham Yahushai is who bringing out all of these different plagues and atrocities that the, that the earth seen right now okay that's it in places in getting rain for months look right look right now down here in we country in getting rain for months months we get rain okay months i mean like a proper rainfall they draw by for bringing plagues on the earth yeah, next precept there. Book of Second Ezra, chapter nine and verse one. <coughs> it says, and he, he answered me then and said, measure out the time diligently in itself. And when thou seest part of the signs past which I have told thee before, then shalt thou understand that it is the very same time wherein the highest will begin to visit the world which he made. See, <laughs> well, you have a misconception thinking that this, this world belongs to the white man. <laughs> This wouldn't belong to no white man. This wouldn't belong to no white man. You know, son? This world belongs to the Heavenly Father and is his, his only begotten son and the Israelites. That is who, that is who this world belongs to. You know, son? And the very Lord now said it is the very same time wherein the highest will begin to visit the world which He made. He made the world. He, Yahweh. The supreme, the creator, I have an earth, Yahweh Shai, his only begotten son, who Yahweh gave the mantle to, to, to create the heavens and the earth along with the angels, which is the elect, them angels is the 144,000. This is why them going to receive joint, be joint heirs with Yahweh Shai and Mashiach. Okay? So the Lord getting ready to visit this place that he made. This place called Earth. <coughs> you now receive a royal judgment, right? A royal, holy, godly punishment for the wickedness that it was doing on the earth. So you see, Esau right now fallen. Esau fallen, and people giving Esau the credit for he fallen. Nah, 
is the Lord destroying Esau. Alright? The Lord completely exposing him. It says, Therefore, when, when there shall be seen earthquakes and uproars of the people in the world, and why is that happening, uproars of the people? <coughs> Uproars are the people. Uproars are the people. <laughs> Why is that uproars are the people? I don't even know where that's that. It's every way people protested right now. And I'm going to say this. Very, very soon. Very, very soon. I think going on no food in your groceries. And this is something we've been on the highways and the byways telling you for the longest while. And you Trinidadians, <coughs> all you get complacent and comfortable in Babylon. And all you get to love you so anyways, the kingdom that he make. But you don't understand something. This kingdom wasn't built to last forever. You know? This kingdom was built to be a temporary kingdom. The kingdom to come is, the, is built to last forever. This kingdom was built for a period of time. But the uproars are the people in the world, bro. Everybody protesting is riots and all into that thing. Let me watch the news. Let me watch the news. People all over the world protesting. And you know. Everybody in an uproar. Especially you now with this COVID, this COVID, so-called COVID-19, coronavirus, care pandemic slash myth. That the either might send them conjure up in the mind and, and, and bring to pass. Because you're getting articles like we say Bill Gates make the coronavirus and thing and all of them things. They bring about the microchip, which do doubt. You see this RFID microchip, which is something... And I didn't think by everybody now is a prophet. You know, I kind of all over the place, but as I now think about that, we've been beginning with the apostles and the elders, our great millstone, been singing that song for years. The microchip is the mark of the beast. The microchip is the mark of the beast. Now nah, it's Christianity. Now nah, it's Sunday law. Now nah, it's something else. Now, when people see it, way, but it could really be. Everybody point it up on the status and all kind of thing on WhatsApp and all kind of thing. Yeah, but only time you wasn't studying that, bro. Only time, only time you wasn't even thinking about no microchip and thing. All of us are news. Everybody now is a prophet. But the father go magnify he true prophets. You know, son? He go magnify who is he true prophets. Verse 4, it says, Then shall thou well understand that the Most High speak of those things from the days that were before thee, even from the beginning. For like as all that is made in the world had a beginning and an end, and the end is manifest, even so the times of the highest have plain beginnings in wonder and powerful works and endings in effects and signs. Everyone and everyone that shall be saved and shall be able to escape by his works and by faith where, whereby he be, whereby he have believed shall be preserved from the said perils and shall see my salvation in my land and within my borders for I have sanctified them for me from the beginning. So here's the, here's the point here, this part, right? Then shall they be in pitiful case which now have abused my ways and they that have cast them away despitefully shall dwell in torments and that is all all you who scoff talk trash laugh mock ridicule skin up your face you know threaten We've been saying it 
well, me for the past five years, but the apostles and the elders for the past 35 going, we've been saying it. You all people will be in a situation that all you will cannot come out of. And all of this is happening because Yahweh Shai, the Son of the Heavenly Father, not Jesus Christ. You see, Jesus Christ, as we've been saying, is that white God that you people love. Yahweh Shai is the Son of the Heavenly Father, which is a so-called black man, which died on the cross for the nation of Israel 2,000 plus years ago. Him... He is coming back on the face of this earth. Okay. He is coming back on the face of this earth. To break havoc on the face of the earth. So, you don't know what side you're on. Scripture say, use the will, but don't abuse it. Scripture say, can two walk together except they be agreed? See? Book I, I was, or Amos, chapter 3 and verse 3, it says, can two walk together except they be agreed? You know, that's what you want somebody to walk together. Well, you have to be in the same agreeance with each other. The two men walk together unless they have made an appointment. Can two people walk together without agreeing on the direction? That is the French translation. Do two walk together unless they have made an appointment? So, if you're walking with this world, mm. That means you're in agreement with Esau. And anybody who is in agreement with Esau, when you have shy returns, will be put to death. And that is plain and to the point. Scripture says in Isaiah the 13 chapter and the 15 verse. It says, everyone that is found shall be thrust through, and everyone that is joined unto them shall fall by the sword. Because you are agreeing with Satan. And Yahweh shall say, the book of Luke, chapter 10, and verse 18. It says, and he said unto them, I beheld Satan as lightning fall from heaven. Okay? As lightning. And what did he say? What did, what did Yahweh Shai say? Yahweh Shai said that, um, uh, we, open up, we open it up with it. He said, behold, I come, what, quickly. Lightning. Let me go and look up the word lightning. And let me show you something. Never look it up yet, but I've... Before I look up the word lightning, let me look up translations. Um, the NASB said, and he said unto them, I was watching Satan fall from heaven like lightning. NLT, yes. He told them, I saw Satan fall from heaven like lightning. Like lightning. And that's symbolizing how fast he... Because how, how, how lightning is strike? <laughs> Quick. You understand? That's what I was, that is what I was symbolizing. How quick Satan fell. How fast. And why did Satan fall so fast?
Yeah, why did Satan fall so fast? Because you have what Shai just said. He come quickly because he is coming to do this. this is what he coming to do. First Corinthians chapter fifteen. Let's know. First Corinthians chapter fifteen. verse 23 to 26 and it says but every man in his own order Yahushai the first fruits after what did that are Yahushai that is coming then come at the end because in the end and in the end according to even you Christians know that in the end is when the Lord come to fight Satan or so then come at the end when he shall have delivered up the kingdom to the Mosai even the father Daniel chapter 7 and verse 14 when he shall have put down all rule and all authority and power for he must reign till he had put all enemies under his feet this is the book of Job Chapter 9 and verse 24 and it says <clears throat> The earth is given into the hand of the wicked. He covered the faces of the judges thereof, if not where and who is he? For he must reign. First Corinthians 15:25 till he had put all enemies under his feet the last enemy that shall be destroyed is death and thy satan ultimately he eat him. um which is You just see it on um, fleshly, see it on physical counterpart on the earth. So yeah, we shall come in to put all the enemies on thy feet. This is why Satan as lightning fell from heaven because it was symbolizing how quick Satan fell. Because why Yahusha is coming what? Quickly, all right. And um, yeah, yeah, I'll try coming quickly to put Satan on the needy feet to put Satan. Behind him, suppose he turn on them, because he turn out of go underneath the Lord, which is where he had to be. And Satan represents Edom, Esau, Edom. Okay. So I leave it that. I give all praise to our Hashem, 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 Hashem. We'll come back with the next one later.